Good morning. We are here with uh, Kim Wessel. She's an uh, artist in resident at Art in Motion in Holding Ford, Minnesota. Good morning, Kim. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> Good. So, hey, Kim, we would like to know a little bit about your background. So, can you uh, kind of give us a debriefing on who you are? Yeah, yeah. So, I grew up in Bismarck, North Dakota. Um, lived there my whole childhood until I turned 18 and went to college. <laughs> um, I moved to Minneapolis in 2013. Um, but yeah, I loved growing up in Bismarck. It was like just a very fun experience. I feel like I love being from there. Um, yeah, I, we lived kind of outskirts of town. I didn't live on a farm or anything, but we had like a lot of land that I could, I don't know, play around on. It was just like a great place to grow up. Um, love the prairie, love the landscape there, um, and my grandparents had a farm, so we would go there every once in a while and get to hang out with their cows, like all the they had, and it was a great space to be, um, but yeah, so I moved to Minneapolis in, um, 2013 to go to the Minneapolis College of Art and Design, um, and I went there to originally study illustration, um, I loved drawing cartoons as a kid, um, I loved Pixar animation, that was kind of like what got me into art um but then yeah once I went there and took some um illustration classes I just really realized I didn't like the whole digital world which is definitely like where they exist now um for the most part so yeah I wanted to do more hands-on stuff drawing on paper painting that kind of thing um and so I switched my major to do painting drawing um and fell in love with painting fell in love with oil painting prior to that I had really not done a ton of painting I was mostly doing drawing um and so, yeah, so I really enjoyed painting while I was there. And I was doing kind of like figurative painting, mostly abstraction a little bit, but um, mostly figurative stuff. Um, and so, yeah, so then I graduated in 2017 um, and then moved into a studio space at St. Paul, which I still have now and I love that space. So yeah, it's a great place to make art. There's three other artists in there. It's a little shared, shared studio. So um, yeah, it's, it's kind Very of good. Well, you got a lot of stuff in front of you there that yes. looks like is kind of like the base composition that you uh, worked mm -hmm. off of. So can you uh, tell us a little bit about what you were doing here? Yes. Yeah. So uh, I've been biking a lot. Yes. <laughs> you have been I've a very been avid biker yes, here. which has been very fun. So um, when um, I decided to take some photos on the trail, my like main source of inspiration I wanted to pull from like the water waterways around the trail so I would stop on like the little bridges and take pictures there mostly and then also just some plant life and different things that like stood out to me as I was biking so these have been definitely like my main references while I've been working and I just wanted something that I could hold and look at while I was drawing and that kind of thing um so this has been really fun to get those and just like to bike and stuff has been great really and if you reference that one right there <laughs> Yes. My grandparents on my mom's side, uh, that was their family farm. So I spent a lot of time there fishing in the yes, creek. I and love that. Uh, yeah. That one was so pretty. Yeah, yeah, this one definitely was like the very first stop that I made. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And I see you got some sketches here, uh, yes. pencil sketches in your in a journal, mm -hmm. art journal. Yeah. And what are you, what are you doing here? Um, yeah, so these, I was doing some composition studies um, on one of my favorite painters, John Mitchell. She was the one who, like really got me into painting she does abstract expression abstract expressionism and um just like really gestural paintings that she makes so i went and did some compositional studies just basic sort of outlines of what she was looking at and her paintings and stuff and um i just wanted to use these to kind of just think about compositions for abstraction in my own sure. drawings and just kind of starting points so yeah that was just a little study on that yeah. um and then these pattern uh, pieces of paper yes. with beautiful blues. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so these are cyanotypes. Cyanotypes, uh -huh. okay. And yeah, so these basically are, it's, you coat paper, you can coat paper fabric, really whatever, um, in this chemical that makes it light sensitive to the sun. And so you can place things on it, and if you set it outside five, ten minutes, you can get sort of this imprint of that thing on the paper and then you just have to wash off the chemical and it'll expose it and create this really beautiful blue color oh, yeah. um so yeah so i biked to blanchard dam with oh, these oh you went to the mississippi yeah. Yes. yeah that's a good bike ride yeah yeah and i brought them in my bag and then i put rocks and things on them different sort of plants that were in that little spot yeah. and exposed them for probably 10 minutes and super sunny day so it was oh, good for this yeah. um yeah i brought them back and yeah just like 
I like the abstract kind of patterning you get, so I'm, I'll use those at some point. I'm not sure. Oh, yet, I don't see any of those little cross rocks in there. No, no I know. I, I looked, looked, I looked I for them. Um, I, yeah, I stopped and got a little tray. Did you really? Yes, yeah, I did. Did a little panning? I did, yeah. It was fun, but yeah. really funny. I found a little diamond, though, but just not the full cross. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. So that was cool. I was like, found one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, yeah, so what's going on here? Yeah, so I brought some. This is sort of a drawing process I started probably like a year ago. Um, I love drawing on this paper. So this paper is Yupo, and it's very plasticky, doesn't have much of a tooth to it. Um, so it's really nice for like water-based kind of mediums, but I really wanted to try it with charcoal. So I kind of created this process where I would tape off a section um, and then mix charcoal powder with water. Yeah, never and then, charcoal powder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and then I would pour it onto this paper and then you can make like really thick if you have a lot of charcoal powder or make it a little bit thinner um and then let it dry it takes probably like a day to dry it completely and then you can brush back into it or before you even start make some marks on the paper and pour and it'll mm -hmm. pick up those marks too um and so yeah so this one i did like a thicker layer and then this one is a thinner layer that i washed off once it was dry to create even a lighter um shade and then I drew back into it with charcoal pencil to create and you some. had some, uh, looks like you had some fauna that you mm -hmm. used as your instruments. Yep, yep. So this I used to kind of brush into here. So it's kind of just nice to get some different marks yeah. with little yeah. things that you can find. But mm -hmm. um, there's your uh, charcoal box. Yes. The artist, artist box. All of my tools. <laughs> yeah, you can travel pretty good with that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move yeah. on and see some of your uh, completed work. Yeah, so this one over here is finished. Um, this one I referenced um, water crossing um, by the covered bridge. There's like a little area that has a lot of plant life yeah. and you can see through the water really well. Yeah. So I used that to create some of these lines and textures and um, had another pour behind it too that I really like the texture of that one. So that one's done. Yeah. Um, and then this one here was an experimental piece, which is still in progress. I'm not really sure what to do with it. I but, really love the blues. Yeah, the blues, the blues are, are dynamic. Very pretty. Right? Yeah, yeah. Very. yeah, this one was a cyanotype as well on Yupo paper. So it definitely created a different type of texture because the paper is so thin that the, yeah. the material, like it didn't really soak into the paper. So it created a really interesting on top Kind of almost like reminds me of like the depths of, 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 yeah. of water, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I love, I love what happened, but yeah, still looking at, it, still trying to figure out what it, what it can be. But for now, I, yeah, lo I yeah. love it how it is. Yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and this one's in progress too. This is sort of just the base layer that I'll work into. I created kind of like a darker area here, a lighter area on top. Yeah, like a, almost like a landscape scene. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and then I've got some flowers here. Is that going to be part of the um, area? I think so, yeah. I think I'm going to plan to have some kind of vertical lines here, maybe some flowers on the top. I still have to kind of figure out how I want the composition to be, but it'll definitely incorporate that, that yeah, image that's a little bit. So, yeah, this one down here is also in progress. I created sort of like a geometric version of one of the um, little waterways there. Um, and yeah, I have some color to this one, just kind of playing around with some different marks and things like that, but still definitely in progress. So still thinking about that one. Yeah, well. well, yeah that's good. That's why you have multiple projects going yes, at once, exactly. right? Exactly, yeah, I can jump around. Yeah, tell us about um, this big piece. Yeah, so this big one was very unexpected and fun. Um, I brought some canvas with me and some boards that were just laying around in my studio um, because I wanted to bring just some different materials. Usually I'd just draw on paper, but I wanted to just like see what would happen. So I was like, first day I stretched this and I was like, I'm going to make this really big drawing, which is scale has been really fun because usually I'm drawing on paper like this size. Um, so to have such a big space to work on has been really fun. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to bring in some different landscape elements around Holmingford and added some like abstraction as well um and so i want to create sort of some spaces in the distance some spaces that bring you forward and then just some gestural marks that bring your eye around the piece and create sort of this like momentum and movement um but i also wanted to create sort of a sense of calm as well in the piece so yeah. having some places where your eyes can rest and yeah and look into the distance and that kind of thing um and then yeah i like to bring in some sort of things that reference landscape but aren't 
obviously realistic just bring some patterning and different things so that the it almost lens... looks like a freshly cut uh <laughs> hay field yes, or a wheat perfect. field yeah, yeah i get some lines there yeah so i wanted to kind of um abstract the landscape in a way that can feel familiar to like a lot of different people looking at it or like feel like a place that you've been to yeah um but yeah so this piece i think is finished <laughs> oh very good so oh, yeah, yeah i'm excited about this one it's been really fun to me yeah that's the first one you started on mm -hmm. it was yeah yeah i got really excited um but yeah so then these are a couple more that i'm just kind of playing around still not not finished yet but i have some images here that i've been using to create some of the um, landscape elements and some of the water so i'm working off of this one right now on this piece on the mm -hmm. left um and yeah so i brought some spray paint as well that's the black down here yep so that was taped off and then i just painted it black mm -hmm. i wanted to create some like really high contrast elements in these pieces so i'm still kind of figuring yeah. out what it's going to be but yeah. um thought it'd be kind of fun to try it while yeah. i'm here too yeah, so yeah yeah i'm just playing around with some different materials but yeah so these i'm hoping i can bring to completion similar in this to this one with the landscape elements and different things but um just more contrast so yeah we'll very, see where very those go. you've been very productive yeah. here at in motion you guys have yeah. been working really hard yes very fun Lots so so is arts your uh main career or uh and then you uh, yeah. have other jobs to uh right yeah i work a couple other part-time jobs to just get some fun, like my finances and stuff and it's just fun to i i try and keep it part-time so that i have enough studio time as yeah. well and can balance you know a little bit of both but um yeah i work at a coffee shop i roast coffee and i love doing that um and then i also work at a gallery where i do some retail but also some um like exhibition planning curation installation that kind of thing so that's kind of fun to learn sort of the admin side of art and sort of the business side and get some of that experience there um and great place to meet a lot of artists that are in town and stuff um and that's at the grand hand gallery in st paul so um i've been there since 2019 now so okay. yeah so that's been a good a good thing to add to kind of my art world as well um and you have a website i hear and i have a website yep yep my website is www.kimberlywetzel.com um, and you can find work that I make there, um, stuff that's available for sale, um, and also stuff that I've sold, just like portfolio kind of thing. Um, yeah, so that and, and then my Instagram. Too. Social media. Yeah, my Instagram is at Kim underscore Wetzel and all my art's on there. Um, and just like little process shots and things like that. So you can kind of see a little more behind the scenes yeah. on my Instagram. But yeah. yeah. I, just, I just think it's really neat that you started off as an illustrator mm -hmm. and then you kind of switched into the color painting, yep. whether it be oil or mm -hmm. watercolors. Mm -hmm. And then you now you moved into charcoal and mm -hmm. other mediums. I yeah. just think that's really neat. Yeah, uh, it's been a but fun. they all kind of can, you know, mm -hmm. build on each other For too. Sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's been cool to see how even just like my cartoon drawing, I feel like comes into my landscape drawing sometimes in the way that I make my marks and things. I don't know. It's kind of interesting to see yeah, yeah. that evolution of, of your process and things like mm -hmm. that. But yeah. And what is your art uh, studio called as far as when they do art crawls? Yeah, so it's in the Midway Triangle Building um, in St. Paul. It's in the Midway area of St. Paul. Um, and yeah, it'll be part of the St. Paul Art Crawl. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we'll have to uh, you know, come and see you down yeah. the road with yeah. your uh, open studio time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> well, Kim, we really enjoyed your time here at Art in Motion. Uh, Love seeing you jump on the bicycle and hit down and go see nature and then bring in nature back yeah, into the studio. Yeah. That's uh, that's really, really, really like that. That's so. been so fun. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> What's your favorite sandwich here at Art in Motion? Oh, my gosh. I like the, I think it's called the hybrid. The hybrid? I really like that one. Yeah. yeah, they're all good, though. It's hard to choose. I don't know. I've had many that I could say are my favorite. <laughs> okay. Very, yeah. We love to hear that, too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you so much, and good luck in your art career. Thank you so much. Yeah.